Okay, I'm totally not in my most glamorous setup at the moment, but I wanted to do a quick video to talk about the new page templates feature that Webflow have just released. It's really exciting and it's a precursor to their kind of client page builder thing because we've been seeing a lot of this sort of behavior recently built by people like Timothy Ricks and reinventing the way that we use it by almost creating the design and then creating a builder on top of that where clients just don't need to interact directly with the design. Now I released a video a few weeks ago which everyone was getting hyped up about this class, being able to pass classes into components and then obviously having that component like change the layout based on that class and whatever. And I was like, hold up, hold up. This is cool, but this is not client friendly. And what I'm, what I saw in the video that Webflow released, and I, I, I think this is it. You know, don't quote me exactly on it, but it did feel like they tempted this kind of um, options that you can give components to presumably give them different layouts, different styles. Anyway, that's kind of a teaser. What they have released right now, which we'll go into, is actually be able to create page templates and reuse those. Now, a couple of important notes, which I was chatting to uh, Matthew Munger on Twitter, is that they don't count towards your page uh, page count. What someone was arguing or, or exclaiming about was why not just create a draft and then duplicate that draft. And a lot of people did that and that's fine. But the issue is that not everyone does that. And you're potentially running into issues where that information gets lost or that draft gets deleted or whatever. It's just not the intended purpose of a draft. And we know what happened. We've seen what happens with when people try and work around the system. Uh, in the case of Figma, they start taking away features because it's sort of bypassing it. That's not the case in this case. I, I get it. But anyway, I'm waffling. These are very intended purpose. To, you can create a page based off of a template. And now WordPress have had this for years and years and years and years. It's a great system to consistently provide the same header, the same footer on each page and, and whatever else you need in that template. So it's great to finally see it in Webflow. And of course, just these no code tools make it super fun, super simple to work with. So enough waffle from me. Let's just go through it real quick and go through how to create a page template. Oh yeah, then I guess it's also worth noting they've added the important flag. Just to say, be careful with important. It's uh, It can get very messy, but anyway, they've added it. So let's go into the flow state um, project here. And under pages here, you'll see that we've got this uh, create static page template. And once you do that, Let's just call this, I don't know, give it a template name of editorial, whatever. Yeah, all the same stuff that would presumably be reused with every, each one of these uh, template pages. So let's just create that now and all the rest of it. And you can build this just like you could with any other page. So let's just nick, I don't know, let's lick my nav here. You know what I'm doing, you know. Uh, I don't think I've made, oh, there you go. There's a, yeah, whatever, we'll treat this as my, because uh, it's not, it's only half built this page, but. Yeah, go in here, this is my footer, right? And that is pretty much the bare bones what you would tend to do with these page templates. It's not obviously, obviously you can do as much as or as little as you want, but generally you have a header and then you'll have a footer. And if these were components, it would be a bit easier because then you could just update the components and, and all the rest of it. Now, when we go back into pages, um, I think this would be the place to create a new page from a template. You can do it here as well, which is it's just good, but I think it would be nice just to be super clear, create new page from template or something like that. I, I Yeah, a bit of a UI change would be, um, would be welcome there. But anyway, create a new page, and then I'm gonna go uh, privacy, oops, privacy policy, and then we're gonna create that from the new editorial page. And lo and behold, when I click create, there we go, it's already got us started with our page template. Um, probably had a main section in there and whatever. So really, really simple, really nice. Again, not counting towards your page numbers. And we're slowly but surely working towards this exciting new page builder mode inside of Webflow. I think this is gonna be groundbreaking. So really excited about that. So just a quick rundown. Um, things have been super busy. I've just launched the Figma boilerplate, something I've been working hard on recently, which is why I haven't seen many videos coming out. So sorry about that, but not sorry at the same time. Go check out figmaboilerplate.com. I'm hoping to be in a more permanent setup uh, as of in a couple of weeks where I can actually do content and sit down and go through some stuff with you guys. Because I've got a lot of plans, 
like, subscribe and all the rest of it. Until next time, happy no coding.